Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Okay, Bob, we're ready to go. Food is love. Whether it's a box of chocolates for your sweetheart or chicken soup for your child, we show our love through food. Parents not only show their love for their children by what they feed them, but also how they feed them. Parents care so much about what the right food is that this topic can be controversial and even divisive. It's no wonder. With endless nutrition advice coming from every direction, it can be hard to keep up. I hope tonight that I can relieve some of the stress felt when feeding children. Every parent wants their child to be a good eater, which I define as a fearless eater. Fearless eaters enjoy, learn to enjoy a variety of foods and are give, in given time learn to also uh, try new foods. A parent's feeding style is based on their own eating experiences, lifestyle, and culture. Meals are based on favorite and familiar foods of the parents. Looking back on my childhood meals, we um, listened to Walter Cronkite while we enjoyed a meal of meat and potatoes smothered with gravy, a vegetable, and of course, jello. As Julia taught us, food was to be loved and enjoyed. Growing up in a large family, I learned food was not to be wasted. The Clean Your Plate Club philosophy was encouraged, and many of us are still members today. As you may know, membership in this club requires that we don't pay attention to what our stomach is telling us, that we actually may be full halfway through the meal. Parents, no need to carry on this tradition. Instead, nurture a fearless eater by serving a variety of colorful foods in age-appropriate portion sizes enjoyed around a table. Plan adequate time to eat in Teach your child to listen to their body cues by letting them decide when they've had enough. Does this seem like a daunting task? Let's face it, feeding kids requires a lot of time and energy. In today's fast-paced society, there's less time to make balanced meals. Instead of mealtimes being a source of pleasure, parents are often riddled with feelings of self-doubt, frustration, and guilt. I'd like to give a shout out to all parents today. You are superheroes, as you have a lot on your plate. Families deserve pleasant meal times. However, well-intended parents may apply pressure to kids to eat the right foods. Take three more bites of that broccoli before you have dessert. Finish your milk before you leave the table. Have you felt this uncomfortable pressure? <laughs> In the end, no one enjoys the food or the dining experience. Think about it. Do you have a negative attitude about a food because you were forced to eat it? Do we really want sweets to be the reward when they're to be enjoyed only in moderation? So what's a parent to do? Become a fearless feeder. Be brave and don't sweat the today stuff. While it's important your child has a balanced diet to grow at their own healthy pace, think long term. Your success will be measured when your child has grown into a young adult who enjoys a variety of foods, is eager to try new foods, and stops eating when they feel full. Be courageous. Trust that your child will eat the amount of food their body needs and look for signs from your child that notifies you that he or she has had enough and respect that sign. <laughs> Kids have a great way of showing us they've had enough, don't they? A fearless feeder has the determination to carry out three important tasks. These responsibilities are parents control the what, when, and where of feeding. Serve a variety of foods to help your child become a fearless food explorer. Expect children to be scared of new foods, but give them multiple opportunities to see and taste them. Play on meals and snacks that work for your family's schedule. Parents determine where meals and snacks are eaten. The benefits of eating family meals around a table extends way beyond the food. 
Role modeling is a powerful tool of the fearless feeder. Guess what? If you want your kids to eat a variety of fruits and vegetables, eat them yourself in front of them. The child's responsibility is deciding whether they to eat the food you put before her or him and how much. Now, this may seem scary, but this will empower your child to be a fearless feeder. Eater, excuse me, eater. <laughs> Over time, children gain confidence in their eating ability, will be open to trying new foods, and they will learn to eat to their appetite. Introduce new foods gradually and offer them several times. When introducing a new food, serve familiar foods alongside of it. Involve your children in planning or preparing a meal and grow a garden with them. As your child becomes a fearless eater, he or she develops a loving relationship with food for their lifetime. And at the same time, your dining experiences will be pleasant, pressure-free, and enjoyable by all. Ask yourself, am I creating a pleasant and positive foundation for my child to become a fearless eater? If you would like to explore this loving and simple approach, I would suggest reading one of Ellen Satter's books. She has valuable advice for parents of infants through teenagers, and it's never too late to try it. As I leave you tonight, I hope you will enjoy your next meal, whether it be alone, with family or friends, around a delicious and decorative table. Remember, think long-term when nurturing your child to be a fearless eater. Even if they don't eat their beets or octopus today, you're establishing a strong foundation for healthy eating down the road. Think the what, when, and where to feeding and leave the rest to your, chi the rest to your child. Bon appetit!